हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर स्टूडेंट्स द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ प्योर सॉल्वेंट हियर इज दैट इज प्योर बेंजिन इज सिक्स फोर्टी एम एम मर्क्यूरी वेन टू पॉइंट वन सेवन फाइव इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस थ्री किलोग्राम के जी ऑफ नॉन वॉलेटाइल सलूट इज एडेड टू थर्टी नाइन ग्राम ऑफ बेंजिन ये स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव नॉट मैंशन वी वॉट सलूट इज ओनली दे हैव मैंशन इट इज वॉट नॉन वॉलेटाइल सलूट अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज पे अटेंशन द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो गिवेन हाउ मच सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम मर्क्यूरी कैलकुलेट द मोलार मास ऑफ सोलूट वॉट विल बी द मोलार मास ऑफ द सेकंड कंपोनेंट दैट इज द सोलूट अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो ये सम डेटा इज गिवेन स्टूडेंट्स अटोमिक मास ऑफ कार्बन इज ट्वेल्व एंड अटोमिक मास ऑफ हाइड्रोजन यू टू टेक वन सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्टूडेंट्स यू यू हैव टू फाइंड द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ बेंजिन बेंजिन फार्मूला स्टूडेंट्स यू नो वेरी फेमस बेंजिन फार्मूला दैट इज सी सिक्स ईयर्स ट्वेल्व अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ फार्मूला स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन कैलकुलेट द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ बेंजिन दैट इज द सॉल्वेंट सो बेंजिन हियर इज अबाउट सॉल्वेंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट एंड योर सल्यूट इज नॉन वॉलीटाइल दैट इज दे हैव नॉट मैंशन विच सल्यूट इज ओनली दे हैव गिवेन द वेट ऑफ द नॉन वेट दे हैव गिवेन टू पॉइंट वन सेवन फाइव इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस थ्री के जी ऑफ नॉन वॉल्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो ये स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द सेक ऑफ यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग जस्ट आई एम ड्राइंग द डायग्राम स्टूडेंट्स सो ये स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव प्योर बेंजिन अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्योर बेंजिन स्टूडेंट्स इट विल गिव यू वेपर प्रेशर दैट इज कॉल एज वॉट प्योर वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ बेंजिन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेपर प्रेशर यू कैन ऑल्सो से वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सॉल्वेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज दी सिक्स Yes, six. Understanding students. So, with the help of these data, students, carbon is how much? Twelve. And you have what? Hydrogen is six. Understanding? Twelve. Twelve six are how much, students? Twelve six are seventy-two plus six will be seventy-eight. Understanding? So, molecular weight of solvent that is benzene that is we are going to represent with m one. First component, students. That is why I have taken m one is seventy-eight gram per mole. Understanding? So now here, students, what is given? so that we are going to write first so with the help of this data students we can use the formula so here students here please pay attention vapor pressure of pure benzene and vapor pressure of solution both are given that means p of 0 that is vapor pressure of pure solvent that is here we have taken benzene is given how much students 640 mm mercury understanding students this way we are representing the vapor pressure of benzene now here students vapor pressure of solution is also given students we are writing only p understanding how this solution is made up of students so students this is having the benzene plus you have to add here the weight of solvent that is w2 weight that is second component students we are representing with 2 2.175 into 10 is to minus 3 kg understanding students so so students they have given when you mix students w2 it will form the solution and because of that there is a vapor pressure is coming so that we call as solution vapor pressure so vapors when it is coming students it is given how much it is given to you 600 Mm mercury. Okay, students. Now see the vapor pressure. There is a depression in the vapor pressure. Understand? This is the vapor pressure of solution, and this is the vapor pressure of solvent. Understand, students? Now when now here, students. Now coming down to the weight. Weight of non-volatile. Which solute is there? They have not given students. Only they have given non-volatile. It is there. So weight, your students. That we are W two is given. How much? Two point one seven five into ten raised to minus three kg. Okay, students. Is added to the thirty-nine gram of benzene. Now, now you can see here the weight of solvent is also given. So that is W one is given thirty-nine gram. Understanding, students? Thirty-nine gram it is given. Understanding, students? It is given in gram. So you have to convert by multiplying ten to minus three. If you divide this gram with thousand students, it will convert into kilogram. So students, we are going to convert this quantity in kilogram also. So W one, if you multiply with, if you divide with thousand, that is no, nothing but minus three. If you multiply, it will convert into what? Kilogram. Understanding, students. Thirty-nine. If you multiply with ten to minus three, it will becomes kilogram. So once again, I'm writing, students. Thirty-nine into ten to minus three, it is converted into kilogram. Understanding, students. Now, students, he is asking the vapor pressure. What uh, the vapor pressure is also calculate the molar mass of solute. What will be the molar mass of solute? Here also, students, I have cal already calculated. M one is given. Molar mass of solvent is seventy-eight gram per mole. Okay, students. What will be the molar mass of solute? You have to calculate the molar mass of solute. So, with the help of these students, we are going to recall the formula students that is called as what relative to lowering of vapor pressure formula. We are going to use students. So, students, since you know this formula students relative to lowering of vapor pressure that is pure vapor pressure minus vapor pressure of solution upon 
you have to divide we have to relate with wave, wave pressure of solvent which is always equals to mole fraction of solute now mole fraction of solute is nothing but mo number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solvent issuance now which is nothing but issuance weight of solute divided by mole molecular weight of solute here issuance it is nothing but weight of solvent divided by molecular weight of solvent now what happens when the your the when it will go in numerator so you will get w2 into m1 here students m2 will multiply with w1 students now you this is the formula you you have got students okay students you can write this formula directly now put the value students now what is given students wave pressure of pure solvent is given 640 minus wave pressure of solution is 600 upon 640 okay students which is equals to here students weight of solute is given 2.175 Into ten is to minus three. Weight molar molecular weight of solvent is given. How much is one seventy eight? We have calculated ten is to minus three. That also we have to represent into kilogram is one. That is why I have multiplied it in ten is to minus three divided by molar mass of solute. That is thirty nine into ten is to minus three. And you have to calculate the this I put here is one. So this is the Molecular weight of solute. What will be the molecular weight of solute? Understand issues. Again, with issues, with the help of them, you can just do the cross multiplication and divide issues. So what happens issues? When you do the cross multiplication and division, if you will get M two will be two point one seven five into ten is to minus three into seventy eight. Into ten is to minus three upon thirty nine into ten is to minus three into Six forty. This will go here. Issuance six forty upon six forty minus six hundred. Okay, issuance. Now you have to just do the multiplication. Issuance. So issuance M two is nothing but two point one seven five into ten is to minus three multiply with seventy eight into ten is to minus three upon thirty nine into ten is to minus three multiply by six forty upon. Yeah, when you subtract issuance, it will come forty. Who zero will cancel issuance. Now what else is means? Yeah, this will cancel with this. When you multiply and divide with the help of the log table, means you are getting sixty nine point six into ten is to minus three kilogram per mole. This will be the molecular weight of the second component, that is the solute. Understand, means so this way, means you can calculate the molecular weight of solutes. This is very important, means very simple way I have explained. This way you have to do the with the, this this multiplication division, means you have to use the log table. How to use the log table? That I have already explained in the last video. If you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you